Welcome to the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Kyla Ganton, and here's the seafood news for Monday, May 11, 2015. Inventory holdings and carryover have been emerging problems for Chinese packers over the past few months, regardless of species. As we mentioned in our previous episode last week, a bonded warehouse in China is full of sole raw materials. Processors just are not taking any more raw materials because of the weak finished product market. Atlanta cod has been a struggle as well, with business shrinking dramatically in China. The market in the European Union has been shrinking for a year now with no signs of picking up. Suppliers of Atlantic cod tried to push up prices during the Brussels seafood show this year, and so far it seems to be working. Packers have accepted the increasing the increased pricing and North American buyers have already begun to place orders. Many Chinese suppliers have converted some capacity to Pollock production because it's cheaper and less risky. One of the biggest sole plants even has orders booked through the balance of the year after removing Atlantic cod production. It's definitely been a period of transition as Chinese processors try to deal with high inventories and a poor global market. Tradex Live offer of the week is for sashimi grade albacore tuna loins, one to one and a half pound number one quality frozen at sea hook and line caught product of Canada. Product is toted and available in Vancouver for six twenty five per pound U.S. and in Seattle for six thirty five per pound. Click or tap the info icon above to view this offer. Another underlying issue in China is financial instability. It's been difficult for Chinese plants to receive credit approval from Chinese banks for fish processing. It's no secret that the fish business globally is quite weak. One of the largest financing companies in Dalian, China, just went bankrupt because they cannot retrieve owed debts from one of their largest customers. So what does this all mean for the end customer? There could be less twice frozen product available, and plants could also transition to custom processing houses to reduce risk thus leaving less and less production space. Plants in Vietnam and India could be sought as substitutes, and we have heard about new plants emerging in the Philippines as well. Let's not forget Poland as an emerging manufacturing powerhouse too. The pressure from end product pricing creates risk for Chinese processors who receive low returns and ultimately work paycheck to paycheck. It has been rumored that 30% of the plants in Dalian and 20% of the plants in Qingdao will go bankrupt in the near future and less orders pick up. We haven't seen the market this poor in quite some time. There could be dramatic changes ahead. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Kyla Ganton. Buy smart and eat more seafood.